hello tubers. Today we've got a small problem with my Class C RV behind me and we're going to figure out what it is. Beautiful thing about problems with RVs is that they're only problems that money can fix. So don't worry about it. So one of my uh, friends and viewers, you know who you are, loaned me this code reader because my engine light went on after I was driving down a very rough road, gravel road as a matter of fact, and the vehicle's driving just fine. But I'm curious on what's going on. I got a few possible scenarios of what I think it might be, but hey, let's find out. We can both learn something. For those of you who aren't familiar, a code reader just plugs into a data port on virtually any modern vehicle. And there we go, we have engine light, even though performance is normal. Look up. Oh, here we go. Fuel volume regulator control circuit open. Hmm. Probably a loose wire or something. Well, good to know it's nothing too serious. I can still continue on my camping trip that I have scheduled coming up in the next little while. Let's erase the code and see what happens. Okay, let's see if the code still comes up. Code is cleared. Okay, let's let it run for a few minutes, see if it comes back on. Well, I've got no pending codes, no stored codes. Unless this kicks back on again now, I think we're good to go. Well, clearing that code seemed to do exactly what I thought. The problem seems to have gone away completely. And the reason I suspected that would be the case is because the performance of the vehicle was not affected at all while the code was on under any type of working condition. Accelerating hard. Um, driving slowly, driving fast, going up hills, didn't make a damn difference in terms of fuel flow in spite of the sensor saying that. So what I'm thinking happened was I did have fuel in a jerry can that I was running my generator with and I had a bunch of surplus fuel that I didn't want to carry around. So it was mixed with some chainsaw uh, fuel which you know that's got 50 to 1 oil but you can burn it as long as it's heavily diluted and I believe some of that got in there and probably a little bit of moisture because you know when you store gasoline sometimes you get a little bit of condensation in there between the two somehow um, that happened and there is still that tiny bit of chance that I got a loose connection wire somewhere that uh, isn't affecting the performance obviously because if it was the ground on the actual fuel pump fuel pump wouldn't be running vehicle wouldn't be running so if that comes up the code comes back and we'll go from there but I got a feeling I'm not going to be hearing from this problem again and I learned a little bit of a lesson to not put mixed fuel in because obviously it can affect the uh, performance of the engine but you know the more fuel I run through it the more it'll be diluted and the mosquitoes here are really bad. <laughs> that's why I'm flopping around. <laughs> so, anywho, that's the video for today. Didn't even have to spend any money. Oh, darn, I like to support my local mechanic because mechanics have ex-wives and boat payments. Just saying. Some of them even have mistresses. So they got a lot of overhead. And you wonder why mechanics charge so much. That's the reason why. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe. Keep your wheels in the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Ed. I will get this code reader back to you soon. You know who I'm talking to. Thanks again, buddy. Talk to you soon.